Hey everybody, welcome back to Viking MTG. Um, got a impromptu opening today. Uh, I've got a good deal on a bundle of Exelon, and I'm always looking for a search for a Skanta or something fun. Um, mainly looking for a search for a Skanta, one short of a playset on it. Um, let's give it a shot. This will probably be, this is one of the few videos you'll see this week slightly under the weather and I um, gonna have a very busy week so um, you won't see a lot of me but I've got this and another bundle that I'll post this week um, and I'll see if I come up with something and then I most likely will go to f and I'll sh show the results of that after f and so here's our bundle got our usual die Got the red spotty one. Base glam pack, no reason to open that. Reference guide, all right. 10 packs. Let's see what we can get. No foil on this one. Sentinel totem, Wily Goblin. Thundering Spineback and a Dead Eye Tracker. It's a good little card. It's not a bad uh, one drop. He's a one drop, one one for one. He's a human pirate. You spend two, white and a black, uh, excuse me, uh, colorless and a black. Exile two target cards from an opponent's graveyard and he explores. So if you're playing, uh, I went, at one point I was doing a green black explore deck. Once you had him out, if you had the extra mana, you could, or if you had a couple of him, bam bam, you, he explores twice, and your, I can't remember the name of the card, but there's a, there's a green creature that gets plus one, plus one every time somebody explores, so that'll pump him up pretty big, especially if you can get multiples of them out. Alright, no fun on this one either. Rallying Roar, Perilous Voyage, an Unclaimed Territory, there's a good couple bucks, and a Ruin Raider. Unclaimed Territory, of course, is widely used, even in modern. It's just an excellent card. Five color humans, a lot of, a lot of decks use Unclaimed Territory. Although I'm seeing a lot less tribal right now in standard. They didn't really help tribal a lot in uh, Dominaria, or at all. Kite Seal Freebooter, Seer Seeker's Squire, Billowing Agisaur, and an Entrancing Melody is a rare. Not very entrancing at all. So we have a Verdant Rebirth, Thundering Spineback, a Marauding Looter, and a Search for Ascana. We got there. I got exactly what I wanted. Nice. So that's the... How many times I've called the shot on this channel? It's kind of crazy, actually. Um, Alright. Let's see what else we can get. Not no foils yet, surprisingly. I actually had Dominaria as one of the lowest, well, the highest mythic rates I've seen in a set in a long time, and one of the lowest foil rates I've seen in a set. It's kind of odd. And I think that's why the foil prices on a lot of these cards are so high, because the foils are harder to find. We have a Sheltering Light. A Favorable Winds, Lightning Strike, always a good card, and a Herald of Secret Streams, and a Sun Petal Grove Foil. Nice, very nice. This has turned out to be a, a pretty darn good bundle, if I say so myself. We're approaching uh, breaking even, 
for some petal grove and foils five bucks um, I think that's gonna grow up uh, go up I've seen people playing um, white blue green and I've seen people playing white blue because um, uh, seal away is so valuable uh, that it's causing people to try and fit white into uh, in the new decks so we'll see where its value goes alright no foil in this one but we did get a foil rare Dusk Legion Dreadnought Trova and Temptation Shapers of Nature, and another Sun Petal Grove. That is an oddity. Two Sun Petal Groves, foil and a non-foil. So far, no Mythics. Um, the search is not a mythic. No, it's not. So, no mythics yet. Can we hit a tyrant? We'll find out. Emergent growth, air elemental, snapping sailback, and a sanctum seeker. That's a solid card. Sanctum seeker solid. And we have a foil planes. Very nice. Put my foils over here. I'm screwing my piles up. I can almost always find somebody at FNM that, uh, that's looking for unclaimed territories. I've, I've gotten some pretty good cards trading unclaimed territories away. I've had a lot of them. Also wouldn't mind the uh, Settle the Wreckage. Alright, no foil in this one. Ruthless Knave. Bright Reprisal. Seeker Squire again, and a Fathom Fleet Captain. Forest and a Vampire Token. Just for statistical sake, I'd like to see a, if I see one Mythic in this. But um, we've done well enough so far, it wouldn't be the end of the world. foil. Dusk Legion Dreadnought, Stormfleet Arsonist, Bishop of the Bloodstained, and we have a treasure map. Nice nice cards, a nice uh, rare. We've hit a lot of good rares. So, good bundle overall. The treasure map is used in a lot of decks in standard right now. foil. We have a sheltering light, a navigator's ruin, a lightning strike, and a Regisar Alpha. Not a bad card. So we didn't get a mythic, um, but we got Regisar Alpha, who's still three, four bucks. Treasure map, which is a couple bucks. Um, we came close to breaking even on this. I'm not sure on the, uh, the value of the Sun Pellet Grove foil, um, but we did good. Um, this I definitely did good. This is a good bundle. Um, definitely good for a bundle. I've, I've done worse, that's for sure. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I won't be posting a lot this week, uh, but I will try and get some stuff up when I can, and then uh, I'll post my results from F and M, and then Standard Showdown. Um, I'm playing my Green Black Constrictor this weekend. Um, playing it. Uh, deck that I know well and I'm really comfortable with instead of playing playing that wizard's deck and uh, the mono black control deck just wasn't familiar with them and it wasn't smooth and I didn't enjoy it a lot I mean I, I had fun but I didn't have a great time by any means so if I don't have fun playing a deck I won't play it twice um, I just won't so um, I hope everybody enjoys uh, their week. Um, don't work too hard. And uh, I'll uh, see you later.